I think the two coolest things that a photographer can do on a wedding day is change your lens and this. <laughs> hey, I'm Vanessa Joy with Breathe Your Passion on Adorama TV, and I'm showing you how to use a five in one reflector and all the ways you can use a reflector that you probably didn't know about. <laughs> So this is Adorama's own brand, uh, Glow. It's a five-in-one reflector, so we've got a white side, a silver side, and yes, there is a difference, and it's not just brighter and not as bright. All right, and then we use the zipper here, and on the inside, we've got the black, we've got a diffuser, and then we have the gold and silver. So there's different reasons why you would use all of this. First of all, when should you be using a reflector? Well. This is a great time to use a reflector. I've got the couple up next to a window and I want to fill in those shadows a little bit. So it's not so contrasty. I want to make that like light and airy and pretty. This is what it looks like without anything. Right here, you can see the shadows right there. You can see it underneath her cheekbone. You can definitely see it here, here on this face. Option one, pop in a white reflector. So bringing the white side over to them is just gonna fill in those shadows. Look at the difference. We've got shadows here less shadows here. You're not exactly filling it in completely. You're not flat lighting them. You're just getting a little bit more light on their faces so it's not so drastic. Make sure that you're not putting the reflector underneath them. Huge mistake. Don't mess with the lighting. Don't mess with the lighting. I know what it's set to. It's just set to one. This is awful. I look like crap. I've got dark circles happening right here, right? Never do this. Oh my God, turn this off. Opposite side parallel, higher, anything but throwing light underneath them like that. People typically think if you don't have enough light, hey, I'll throw the silver reflector on them and it's just brighter. Yes, it's brighter, but the silver side is making it more specular. That little highlight right there, this little white part right here, specifically on her face, all right? And then now let's go to the next picture. That's what you're looking for. Flip to this one, look at it now. Look how much brighter those highlights are. That's what the specular means. It's enhancing those highlights. So yes, it's brighter, but it's making it more specular. Another reason that you would use a reflector is actually using it as a diffuser blocking certain light forms. So we're in this hallway and there is this heinous light above them, bringing down all this light on top of them. Use a reflector to block out the light. There's the ick, they've got all of this light. You can see the circles under their eyes are a little bit darker. You've just got mixed colors and yucky and now, Ta-da, we blocked it out, we exposed for the window light, working just with the window light. Now looks good. The fourth way that you can use, that's eight. The fourth way that you can use a reflector is to block out reflections that are coming from the ground. A lot of times you think, hey, I'll put my bride in this nice, pretty grass, or maybe I'll stick the bridal party somewhere where there's red brick all over the place. What happens? The light coming from above smacks the ground and then that color of whatever's on the ground smacks them in the face. Take that reflector, plop it down, black side up, so that nothing is gonna be reflecting right in front of them back. It will drastically change the color of the skin tones and well, the dress. You're photographing a white dress and you're reflecting green or yellow or whatever ick light on it, you're gonna do a lot better when you just plop it down. The fifth way that you can use a reflector is to diffuse harsh light. Put it right above them and then just kind of angle it down and then you end up having basically this clamshell lighting setup that I've got right here on my face. See, looks good. So you could do that when it's super harsh light. <laughs> You're looking at me like I should get this permanent look. Looking for more inspiration? Click the link in the description below to download my free posing guide. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're notified when new videos pop up here on Adorama TV. Leave some comments, ask your questions. There are no dumb questions and there's no such thing as mean comments. There is such thing as mean comments. I collect the mean comments so I have an excuse to eat ice cream. But seriously, don't be a